everybody, my name is Norma and today I'm going to be showing you some of the free things that you can do in Las Vegas because we all know that Las Vegas can get pretty pricey pretty quick and some of us just want to be able to enjoy the day without feeling guilty that we spent a fortune. So come along with me so we can check out some of the free things to do in Las Vegas. Now, many of the free things to do here in Las Vegas are to catch shows, and there's so many of them. I'm bringing you back here to the Bellagio to catch one of my favorite free shows, and that's the fountain. These fountains go as high as 460 feet up in the air, and they have so many songs such as classical, oldies, and even today's music. Now, if you have the time, I recommend come at least once during the day and once at night, for sure at night so you can appreciate the choreographed lights. The shows are every 30 minutes by day and every 15 minutes by night until midnight and it really doesn't matter where you stand whether if you're at the front by the boulevard or closer to the Bellagio side, the views are phenomenal either way. And while you're here checking out the fountains, make sure to go inside of the Bellagio to check out the conservatory. This is a must see every time you come to Las Vegas as it does change about five times a year. Now, it does take about five to 10 days to change out the installations. So if this is one of the must see things on your list, just make sure you check the website for those dates. And just like the fountains, the scene is so different between daytime and nighttime. Especially at nighttime, the garden just looks so magical and so mystical, it almost feels like I'm in a fantasy movie. Okay, so I did talk about this place in my last video, but if we're talking about free things to do in Las Vegas, I have to mention this one. Since it is one of the longest running free shows in Las Vegas since 1989 when the Mirage first opened. Just be prepared, that sidewalk right there is always full of large crowds because they're just waiting to see the awesome waterworks that simulate exploding lava and fireballs that you'll feel the heat even if you're all the way across the street. It usually goes off four times a night, but times can vary depending on the season, so just make sure you check the signs that are right outside of the volcano or just go inside and check what the front desk and concierge. And just a little tip for you guys, the volcano itself does have a wind sensor, so if winds are more than 10 miles an hour, the show is not gonna go off. So just keep that in mind if it feels like a windy day. So I'm gonna go out on the limb here and say that the Lake of Dreams is one of the more high-tech free water shows in Las Vegas. And the wind just renovated it in order to have more new and exciting free shows. Now, just because you saw one show, you might think you have an idea of what the rest of them are like. But no, even I was wrong. Every show is so different from the last, so if you can, try to get a few in. You can view this collection of shows by having a cocktail at Parasol Down or having dinner patio side at Lakeside or SW Steakhouse. But wait, aren't we here because this is a free thing to do? Before going down the escalators to Parasol Down, you'll notice a hallway that will take you outside or just exit the doors right next to the front desk. While you're here at the Wynn, make sure you check out their garden as well right next to the registration. It's so pretty and picture worthy. If you ask any Vegas local or any Vegas regular, they're gonna tell you to come check out Fremont Street. This canopy behind me has a great free light show called Viva Vision, but if you just call it the light show, everybody knows what you're talking about. The canopy itself is now on 24 seven since they just had a renovation back in 2019. So even if you do come during the day, you're still gonna get some great visuals. But if you do wanna check out the light show, just make sure you come at night. The light show is once an hour from 6 p.m. till 1 a.m. And they have some great music with artists such as Green Day, Tiesto, or even Lincoln Park. If you happen to be strolling through the Link Promenade or the Flamingo Hotel, make sure you make a quick stop at the Flamingo Wildlife Habitat. They're 
open from dusk till dawn. Admission is free, of course. And not only will you get to see beautiful flocks of flamingos, they also have pelicans, swans, ducks, turtles, and koi fish. It's just a great place to have a quick little choir break from all the outside craziness. You know how they say that if you walk through a desert for so long that you begin to hallucinate or see a mirage? Well, if I was hallucinating, I'm pretty sure this is something I would see. The seven magic mountains are seven towers of large, colorful boulders. And I say large because if you spot these from the freeway, they look so tiny. But these are 30 feet tall and I just feel so small next to them. I recommend this place if you have a rental car or if you have your own because it is about 20 miles south of the Strip, but if you're coming from California, it is on the way, so why not make a quick stop? This masterpiece was created in spring of 2016, and originally it was only supposed to stay for two years, but it became so popular that they extended their permit for another three years. So right now, we only have it until the end of 2021, but I just hope that they extend their permit again and they could just stay here forever. And just a little reminder, this is in the middle of the desert. You will get dirty. Just check out my pants. I want to say that Circus Circus is the best place to bring the kids, but honestly, I'm pretty sure I've been here more as an adult than I have as a kid, and a lot of my friends visiting make this a priority on their list. Located at the Midway inside of Circus Circus is one of my favorite arcades, and as an added bonus, the Midway offers free circus acts. You get a big variety of talented performers and they're actually really entertaining. These shows happen once an hour on the half hour. They're about five to seven minutes and the Circus Circus website has a full schedule of what acts will be performing each day. Located in the middle of the Harris and Link Hotel, you're going to find what likes to be called an open air street party known as Carnival Court. There's no charge to get in and they always have DJs and bands playing. This weekend we just happen to have Vinny and Vin A from the Bronx Wanderers. Plus they have poker tables you can sit and play at and some really talented bartenders that might just steal the show from the bands. Usually they're open every day, but currently right now they're only open Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And I just think it's a great place to come catch some live music for the price of a drink that we know we're just going to get anyway. Just a 15 minute drive from this trip is one of Las Vegas' better kept secrets, and that's the Ethel M Chocolate Factory and Botanical Gardens. It's free and open to the public, and you're welcome to walk through the chocolate viewing aisle to catch some chocolatiers and the machines creating those Ethelum chocolates that you know and love. But my favorite part is that you're greeted with a free chocolate sample as soon as you walk in. It's temporarily closed due to COVID, but Ethelum offers chocolate tasting classes, and they even have a chocolate and wine pairing class that I got to do once. I actually learned a lot of what chocolates and wines go well together. And while you're here, make sure you take a stroll through the three acre cactus garden. It's filled with so many desert plants, different type of cacti, and even Joshua trees. 
The best time to come is during the holidays where the whole garden gets decorated with lights. Now, this holiday cactus display is free and will stay open till 9 p.m., but this year they are gonna be by reservation only, so make sure you go onto the Ethelant website to choose your time slot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you comment below. Let me know what's your favorite free thing to do in Las Vegas. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows to recommend this video to more people who want to visit Las Vegas. And I know I barely scratched the surface from all the free things to do in Las Vegas. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a video number two. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I'm bigger you. <laughs> Pricey pretty quick. They're <laughs> free things to do. Take it out. Uh, plane. This is right by the airport, so you're gonna hear a lot of planes. Now many of the Now many of the favorite oh free. God. The views are phenomenal. Phenomenal really. But my favorite plane. Ow. This rock hurts. Okay, so I did talk about this place in my last video. <laughs> that might just steal a show from the band. Yeah. <laughs> See beautiful spot. Come on. <laughs> Some waterworks that simulate it. It's <laughs> one of Las Vegas's, but <laughs> a pelican. <laughs> okay. It's temporarily closed due to COVID, but oh.